Here is a word that uh, you probably ought to learn and be familiar with if you are interested in autism or if you are autistic, and that is the word apoptosis. And what that simply means is, uh, or what it describes rather, is a neural development disorder. Or let's say it this way, it's a brain disorder, development disorder. So one of the things that makes a person autistic is not their behavioral traits, but it's the cause of those behavioral traits. So the misunderstanding comes when we say that uh, a person has some of the traits of autism, not very many, and they're not severe, they're not obvious. So we can say that person is on the spectrum. Well, we can say everyone's on the spectrum. Well, you can say that if you want, but it's not true. Not everyone is on the spectrum because not everyone has a neural development disorder or had a neural development disorder. And in my opinion, that is the defining factor of what is or what is not autism. So when people say everyone is on the autism spectrum, maybe just a little bit, my answer to that is no, they're not. That's just kind of a misunderstanding of what autism is and how it works and how the spectrum works. So the final conclusion in my mind, no, we're not done with the video, but the final conclusion in my mind is those of us with high functioning autism or with Asperger syndrome, which is a term by the way, which is kind of gone out of favor because people, well, it's politically incorrect, but I use it anyhow because I think it's useful. But those of us with Asperger syndrome, the, the neurodevelopment, uh, Challenges have not affected us as much as those who are, uh, what, how would we say this, uh, not as functional with their autism as others. That's pretty much the sum of it. So if you have some of the traits of autism, okay, say you're a little bit shy, you don't do well in social circumstances, okay, that's kind of like autism, right? Well, it is, but that doesn't make you a little bit autistic. That makes you a little bit like people who are autistic. And there's a huge difference. Let's use the example of, just pick an animal. Pick it. I'll pick a frog. All right, a frog has eyeballs, right? Humans have eyeballs. So is the frog a little bit human? Don't think so. Uh, what else? Frog has, uh, well, has a lot of the same features. It has legs, has fingers or toes or whatever. The frog can hear, humans can hear, uh, the frog makes noise, humans make noise, sometimes too much. And humans can even make noises that sound like frogs if they kind of work at it. So shall we draw the conclusion that a frog is a little bit human? Well, you can if you want, but I think that would be a misconclusion. And when people say that everyone is a little bit autistic, that's just a, that's a, what would you call it, a misnomer? That's a misunderstanding uh, or a misexpression, mis another good way of expressing what's going on here. So I think what they really mean is everybody has some of the traits of autism, but that doesn't make them autistic. It makes them a little bit like people who are autistic, and we need to understand how different that is. So, uh, uh, here's another example I guess I could use. The thing about the frog is probably not a real good illustration because frogs are different species. I mean, totally different. But uh, I have some kind of an immune deficiency problem. And so I went to a, um, a what do you call these people? A rheumatoid uh, physician of the name, whatever you call them, slips my mind. A uh, rheumatologist maybe. And uh, they did blood tests, and he said, you do not have rheumatoid arthritis. And there are a couple other things that I don't have. But I have the symptoms, some of the symptoms of that. But through the blood test, somehow, some way, they were able to determine that, yes, you have a problem with inflammation. But no, we cannot classify that as uh, rheumatoid arthritis. So yes, you have some of the symptoms or some of the traits of a person with autism, but no, you're not autistic. So you can't really do a blood test, but what we can do is we can understand what causes autism or what is believed to cause autism, and that takes us back to the word apoptosis. What that simply means is a neurological or neurodevelopment 
disorder, neurodevelopment disorder, and it kind of goes like this. I'm actually going to read this, if you don't mind, because sometimes uh, just reading something is better than trying to explain it. And what we read is this, pathological activation of apoptotic death pathways under pathological conditions may lead to neuroanatomic abnormalities and possibly to development or dif uh, developmental rather disabilities. It has been demonstrated a possible association between neurocell death and autism. So by the way, when we use the term apoptosis, my understanding is what that means is neural cell death. So uh, your brain cells are dying. But people with Asperger syndrome, and this is what I've learned from my studies, they don't experience that cell death, which is natural, which is normal. So, you know, brain cells die, and that makes room for more brain cells. But what happens with a person with uh, autism, as I have understood it, you need to do your own study on this, is that the brain cells just don't die. So we wind up having more brain cells as, you know, in our early development as more than neurotypical children. And that manifests itself and shows itself in behavior. This is all kind of not even theory. It's kind of hypo hypothetical hypothesis. So that seems to be the biological underpinning of people with um, autism. So if you haven't had that biological uh, experience, then even though you have the traits, you're not autistic. So no, everyone isn't a little bit autistic. So why do people say that? Uh, well, I used to kind of think that as I was beginning my research, but when I, you know, did a deep dive into it, I realized, nah, these are just traits that are similar, like, you know, rheumatoid arthritis has traits that are similar, but not necessarily the same. So it's not the same. Why do people think that? Well, I think, number one, they're just misspeaking. They may know better, but they don't know really how to express it. And so they say everyone is a little bit autistic. What they really mean is everyone has some of the traits of autism. Well, that's that can be hurtful because it, it seems to minimize, you know, autism and its severity. And when you do that, uh, it's kind of dismissive. And then we don't look for solutions to the problems that it causes. You know, everyone is autistic, so it's no big deal, right? That seems to be the outcome. Sometimes uh, we misunderstand what they are saying because they don't say it right. And sometimes we get a little bit upset with people by saying when they say everyone is a little bit autistic, that's really not what they mean. But the problem that I have is already spoken. That it just seems to trivialize the condition. And when you trivialize something, you're saying it's not important. And what makes it even worse is sometimes it just flat out, it's just flat out denial that there is no such thing as autism. It's just a collection of traits. Some people have more than others, but it's really not a thing. So they just deny it. And if it doesn't exist, and you know, if you talk to parents, or I'm reading a book uh, by the mother of a little boy who is severely autistic. And you just dismiss that, say it doesn't exist, uh, that's really hurtful, you know? Uh, and it's born, out of, uh, it's born out of ignorance. So the question is, are you a little bit autistic? Well, you could be. But uh, to say, is everyone autistic even just a little bit? That is, well, the answer is no. That is just simply misunderstanding what autism is and what it's all about. There are two rectangles on the screen if you want to hear more about autism or high functioning autism or asperger syndrome yes i still use the term all you got to do is click on one of those two rectangles in the conversation we'll just keep on talking together we'll keep hanging out but if not then thanks for stopping by and see you all next time